start off this walk on the plane. And it's kind of filing in, so I just thought I'd hop on and take the money. So apparently the weather in Okinawa right now is pretty gloomy and rainy. I don't really even bring that many pairs of shorts. Um, but we'll see once we get there. Hi everyone, I just dropped off my stuff at the hotel. And now I'm walking to a 7-Eleven to get a prepaid SIM card. It is so cool here, like everything looks so retro and like kind of like Hawaii, but Japanese. just finished eating lunch at this place that I had saved on my Google Maps and oh my god it was so good and really packed. I came right when it opened and it was already very full. Um, I highly recommend it if you are in Okinawa. It's like traditional Okinawan food. Overall, it's so quiet here. You can hear like a pin drop which I love. ceramic street and it's been raining on and off pretty heavily too i'm actually feeling really tired because i've been basically up since three actually took me seven hours total just to get here it's only like 3 30 right now and i actually can check into my hotel now so i think after i wrap up at this pottery street i'm gonna go back to the hotel clean up rest a bit <laughs> Okay, hi everyone. I'm currently in the hotel slash Airbnb room and I'm in awe of how bang for your buck this place is. I got this off of booking.com and I am paying only USD $191 total for five days and four nights and you guys cannot believe how spacious, clean this place is. So this is the very beginning when you walk in, the mirror is on your right and then over here on your left is just a shelf where you could put things. Um, this is my luggage. To your right, this is the bathroom area. They include all these things for you. And then this is the sink. There's even a washer dryer and they give you the washing detergent. Okay, this is the bath, the tub, the shower room. And then um, the toilet is in a separate room here. And it's also those automatic ones and water comes out of here. I, this is the first time I've ever seen a toilet like this, which is interesting. So then this is the kitchen area, also so clean. There's a heater here, kettle. They have a fridge here as well. This is where you can hang your jacket, bed over here desk area over here. They even have a microwave. What the heck? I don't know. I'm just easily impressed by just how nice this is. Um, TV. Here's a, such a comfy chair. I can't wait to sit in this layer and just like chill because I've walked so much today in the rain. And last but not least, there is a balcony area. This is the view from my room. showering and I feel so much cleaner and better 
and it's getting dark outside anyway i forgot that in japan that in most hotels or places you stay at they give you uh, a pajama set and it's usually like super comfy and it's always like loose fit and the fabric is always so soft and i thought when it was folded that it was a robe but it's actually a two-piece and i love it i feel so comfortable right now i wish i could buy one of these sets and bring it back to the u.s so far what i really like about okinawa is that it being called the hawaii of japan really rings true because so far i see a lot of things that remind me of when i went to hawaii and like there's like a warmness to it not talking about weather because it was really cold today but like there's just a general more laid back chill vibe so different from tokyo i just think that the people here are also very kind i can't speak Japanese. I just feel like I'm way more timid and shy when I speak in a language that's not my first language. Um, so I was definitely feel like very quiet today and very shy and just kind of acting like a dum dum. And I feel like people knew that, so they were like very patient with me. I really forgot what it felt like to solo travel, and I think the last time I did this was, like I said, probably two years ago or, yeah. It, it's just been a really long time so i think this time will allow me to reflect on a lot of things personally and just enjoy myself <laughs> good morning it's like 7 40 ish now and i slept pretty well it's finally not raining today it actually looks pretty clear it's a bit fogged up so today i'm going to shuri castle and i might go to omarimachi station there's the okinawa prefecture museum that uh seems really cool i think like before i came i was kind of ignorant in thinking that Okinawa, there's not much to see compared to like Tokyo or Osaka or Kyoto but actually there is so much to see and I feel like I can't even fit everything I want to see in five days like I thought five days was too much and now I'm like damn I have so much I gotta pack in um and I hope I have enough time to do everything I want to do hey heading out now this is my outfit for today um, going with like a bron brown monochrome look and I bought both of these things in Taiwan I feel like this is very Japanese style this is actually from a brand in Japan so yeah definitely better than yesterday <laughs> okay see you guys <laughs> castle and sadly a lot of it has burned down due, due to a fire so there wasn't much you could see but i still felt like they did a really good job of preserving um a lot of the things that remained finished at Okinawa Prefecture Museum. To be honest, I didn't see everything. You have to pay for either the permanent exhibition or the art museum side. It's a huge museum and I'm pretty sure the permanent exhibition is more vast than the art but I personally don't really have an interest in that kind of stuff so I paid for the art one and it was relatively a small collection. I think it was okay but um, I'm not spending much time here. I just really thought that it 
architecture was really cool. Now I'm thinking of getting taco rice because that's an Okinawan food that I haven't tried yet and there's a place nearby. And then I'm going to probably go shopping because Omamachi has a lot of malls and like department stores. Um, so I think that part is a bit boring because it's just kind of buying the stuff I want to get from like Uniqlo, Muji, Sutaya. Good morning everybody. It is day three of being in Okinawa and I feel like I've already done so much even though it's been two full days. And today I am going to the aquarium. It's really famous in Okinawa and it's highly recommended. It's quite a ride from where I'm staying. It's like an almost two hour bus ride. But at the same time, I've explored Naha pretty much all of these past two days and I do want to get out and explore another area of the island so it's really early right now I woke up around 6 but the bus is at 8 15 and I'm getting ready now I'm doing my makeup I am excited and hopefully it doesn't rain because it's been very um, on and off after I get ready I want to show you guys my breakfast this morning I got a tuna mayo onigiri from Lawson's. I know spam is really big here too, like Hawaii. This is the spam masuri. And they have hot drinks, the hot roasted tea. finished at the aquarium and I'm so glad I ended up going because it was so cool and I think it's been a really long time since I've been at an aquarium. Right now I'm walking to a place called Tropical Dream Center. I didn't even know this was a thing but it's a botanical garden that's in the park where the aquarium is and it had really good reviews on Google Maps so I'm just gonna check it out and then I'm gonna walk to bike rentals and go to Bizuzaki, which is like near further up. Um, yeah, it should be fun. in my hotel room finally it's around seven now and i ended up being on the bus for basically three hours i think due to rush hour and traffic i went to lawson's and got this the energy jelly that they have and this is supposed to help with mineral this helps with iron calcium zinc copper and magnesium i love these i bought so many of these when i was in japan two years ago and they really do make you feel more energized. I feel like I need this because I've been out all day, just on the go, non-stop. Hello everyone. I am going to sleep soon because it's kind of late. I just wanted to talk about the experience of getting sushi for dinner just now. Honestly, I think that was one of my most memorable parts of my trip because I last minute decided to go to this small sushi restaurant near my hotel, which was like down the street. And it had pretty good 
Google reviews and it was just so warm and friendly in there. The place is owned by an old Japanese couple and they were so friendly and kept talking to me. We were trying to communicate with each other but with the language barrier we were just using a lot of body language and simple English but um, they were just so hospitable and made me feel so welcome. I'm gonna really miss that when I leave. I think just that whole experience of dining alone there and even though our conversation was short and limited, I felt so comfortable being there. Yeah, and the food was so good. It was like an omakase set for only $12 USD, which is insane. And I just had a really good time. Tomorrow is basically my second to last day and my last night in Okinawa. This week passed so fast. I really can't believe it. Really hope I can come back in the future because this was nothing but good vibes. Good morning. It's 6.30 a.m. and the sun's not even out yet. I'm up since I have to make my tour. I want to show the quick breakfast I'm having. I didn't sleep at all because yesterday when I went to eat sushi, the drink that they offered wasn't water but it was green tea and I drank like three cups and I also realized by the third one that I probably shouldn't keep drinking it since I was going to sleep soon and I really regret it but whatever. I want to show you guys my breakfast real quick. This is um, from Lawson's again. I just can't really go anywhere this early. Every day I've been waking up before restaurants even really open. So this is just a quick and easy breakfast. This is Okinawa style mixed rice ball and like I said before I love these energy drinks and then I have barley tea this is non-caffeinated but that's really okay because I think I need to get that out of my system <laughs> back in my hotel room after a long morning and afternoon of snorkeling and wow I am so tired we spent the whole morning just on a boat and I didn't film any footage because it was really hard to I was wearing a wetsuit it was gross and sticky and cold and just the few footages I have on my phone is what I have and it was really beautiful to see all the coral and the sea animals and the fish I met some cool girls on the tour and we're gonna grab dinner later and I just took a long hot shower which was really much needed and I'm just gonna get ready for that dinner See ya! Good morning everybody it is my last day in Okinawa and it's around 9 a.m. now. I have to check out at 11 but I don't really have to leave until 1 since my flight's at 4 30. I've been saving this place to go get breakfast since the first day. This place serves traditional Okinawan breakfast. It's like a whole Japanese set. I'm so excited. I'm about to head out and get that and yeah I'm really hungry so let's go. Also, I'm wearing my new jacket from Global Works and I love it so much. It's I've been looking for a jacket like this for a really long time and it was on sale. It has detachable sleeves. I'm really happy I got it. It has cool uh, deep pockets. Also, this jacket has just been trendy in Japan since the last time I came. Mm -hmm. 